Hi, I'm Rob, onboard fishing vessel Assassin, owned by Walker Seafoods Australia. We are a tuna company operating on the east coast of Australia. We're a marine stewardship council certified sustainable seafood company producing high quality export grade products. There's been a lot of talk about AIS, VMS and float free EPIRBs lately, so I thought I'd show you around a commercial fishing vessel and explain a little about what they are. See this over here? This is an Automatic Identification System, or AIS. This is a data exchange and collision avoidance system used globally. It allows vessels that have it to see each other 24-7 when in VHF radio range. Longline fishing vessels leave their AIS on all the time, but it's not unusual for them to turn it off while fishing because knowing where the best fishing spots are is commercially valuable information. But of course we switch it back on as soon as possible to avoid collisions and navigate the water safely. Over here we've got the Vessel Monitoring System or VMS. It's a requirement that all fishing vessels managed by AFMA have one of these. The VMS is used to monitor fishing activities. They have to be kept on at all times and if there are any issues with the system we have to head back into port and have it fixed before we can return to fishing. AFMA collects this data for compliance and monitoring. They also make it available to scientists and researchers so we can better understand and manage our fisheries. VMS plays a key role in enabling the fishing industry to demonstrate it has been fishing within the rules. It also enables fishing vessels to transit through closed areas while maintaining a speed that doesn't permit fishing. Finally, let's head on outside and have a look at the Float Free EPUB, which is a distress alerting device for emergencies. If you're at sea and disaster strikes, a float free EPIRB could save your life. When submerged underwater, a float free bracket is designed to spring open and release a water activated EPIRB. With a clear path, the EPIRB will float to the surface and begin transmitting a distress signal to the Australian Maritime Safety Authority, otherwise known as AMSA. A response is then initiated by AMSA's Joint Rescue Coordination Centre using the device's registration details and location. Most commercial vessels 12 metres and greater will be required to have one of these by the 1st of January 2021. If you need any more information, check out the AMSA and AFMA websites and social media channels. Also, next time you're at the supermarket or fish market, make sure you look for wild-caught Australian seafood. It's sustainable.